Ita for knowing more about a subject a 60 year old man challenged me on. Sorry if formatting is weird, I'm typing it up on my phone. Also please don't post this anywhere else. I, 24F, am currently doing an MA in European history. This incident took place during an online class that is shared with all of the MA courses in the history department and involved an older student, around 60 years old that we will call Richard. Everything is online now and where I live it is getting very cold and wet as is usual for this season. So I threw on my Red Bull racing hoodie because I love Formula 1, I have been watching Grand Prix since I was 10 and this hoodie is the coziest I own. I forgot to take it off before joining our class call a few minutes early to chat to some of my course mates about our thesis proposals that are due soon when Richard joined the call. Richard is in military history and I have previously only exchanged pleasantries and hellos with him until yesterday's class. Richard joined the call, noticed my hoodie and jokingly stated "Oh, very nice of your boyfriend to let you borrow his hoodie. I laughed it off and politely corrected him going, oh this old thing is actually mine, no hoodie robbing here. Richard did not like this answer. He followed it up with but you're a girl. You probably don't even know what that hoodie is about so it can't be yours. Again I laughed this off and replied I've been following Formula 1 for about 14 years. I actually prefer McLaren but Red Bull is a good team too right now. I thought at this point he would drop it. That we could go back to just discussing random stuff while waiting for our lecturer to join. He didn't. Richard proceeded to, in front of the 30 others in this call. Tell me that I only like Formula 1 for how attractive the drivers are. That no girl could ever understand the complexity of F1 and I was obviously lying to show him up and wouldn't be able to tell the chassis from the rear wing. This is where I might be the asshole. At this point I was fed up and I answered him back. I pointed out that his question was ridiculous as the chassis was the base frame of an F1 car and explained how the rear wing is attached to help with the drag of the car and the straight line speed which is why they included dress to help reduce drag and allow for overtaking in straight lines or closing gaps in seconds. I also asked him not to refer to me as a girl, that we were all equal academics and to show some respect to the females in the class which he hadn't been, he tends to speak over us and that I know more female watchers of F1 than men so his little rant was unfounded. Richard at this point went silent and left the class. I have been told that by speaking back to him in a public forum, our online class, that I am a nar because I embarrassed an elder and it was petty to take offense and call him out for what he said to me. The R move was that I called him out on how he was treating me and the other women in our class in front of our 30 peers. Since talking to friends and classmates and my family, dare split. Most most of my classmates think I handled it politely and he was being an asshole, as do most of my friends. My mother however and some male friends think I was an asshole to talk back to an elder and should have just laughed it off and ignored him. That he was just expressing an opinion and I shouldn't have corrected him publicly. I don't think I was an asshole. Edit, wow. I'm actually really overwhelmed by this. I honestly thought this would get a few comments and then ignored. Thank you to everyone saying Imentia and for the award and votes. I really didn't expect this. To the people asking why I would post this when I'm clearly NTA as you've stated. It's because while objectively knowing I wasn't in the wrong I felt awful and guilty. I felt horrible that my reaction made him leave. I'm dreading class next week. I'm not a confrontational person by nature. I also don't stand up for myself and my family have been heavily criticizing me for talking back to someone older and not handling it privately. I'm not looking for validation. I genuinely I genuinely felt when I posted this there was a chance I was being horrible. I am from a small Catholic town where women are seen not heard and defiantly aren't encouraged to speak against older people although this is slowly changing. To the people saying this isn't true because the lecturer didn't react. I stated above that we started the call early. Our lecture doesn't join us till 5 past hour. We started the call early to discuss assignments while waiting for class to begin. This took place before my lecturer joined the call. Also to the people sending me abusive private messages about this and F1 please stop. They aren't funny. NTA, his behavior was rude, sexist, 
and unacceptable. And now you know who in your circle agrees with that sort of behavior. Good on you for standing up to him, maybe he'll think twice before casually belittling women again. Exactly. I tried to make this point but where I'm from we're told to always respect elders and bite our tongues when they say anything controversial but it was just so humiliating to sit there and listen to his rant and I was tired of him talking over the other women cause Terry so few of us doing history MAs. NTA. Guy should have shut it but he didn't and dug a hole which he jumped in. My first 1k comment. Thank you. I honestly thought he'd stop after I said the hoodie was mine but nope, he just kept going. NTA he is your academic equal, not your elder. He pressed you, you gave him two chances to drop it. Then you went full Marissa to me and my cousin Vinny and rocked his world. You're not my kid but I'm proud of you. Thank you, this comment is so sweet. And I love that scene and looking back I do feel very much like her in that moment. NTA. He tried to gatekeep and made himself look like an ass. Boo hoo to him. I only like Formula 1 for how attractive the drivers are. Have been watching F1 for over 30 years. His assertion is automatically nonsense as the drivers are generally boglins. Also for the majority of the time, they're wearing helmets. NTA. He put you down in public. You finally responded publicly. When an elder is a classmate, he is not an elder. That's how I see it. That we are equals but a lot of people still think I should have just nodded along and said nothing because he is older and no, I can't respect someone that talks to me like that. Either for telling a manager it's not a gender thing that he overspent on his wedding. An executive HR manager was getting married last year and everyone was expected to donate towards their honeymoon between $50-$100 because they could not afford it, around Christmas time. First things first, hell nah. Secondly, this manager makes triple my salary so, again, hell nah. I replied, no thank you kindly in the group chat. Not because I didn't want to but because of the principle. Well I guess I started a whole to do because people started backing out. Well needless to say, he was upset about the amount of money he received, less than $6,000, and had to reduce his honeymoon days from 20 to 14, um, first world problems. Fast forward to COVID and a co-worker, notably makes less than him, conceived twins after a drunk unprotected night with her husband. They were completely unprepared, just got married 8 months prior and was not trying. People asked if we could donate $10.25 towards helping her. I got irritated by this. So you are willing to ask people to donate $50.100 for a fucking honeymoon for someone who clearly can afford it? So I donated $100 and went and got things off of her registry. Well, I guess people took my lead and did the same. She ended up receiving almost $11,000 for her babies plus items off of her registry. She was very grateful and actually give back $4,000, so we could receive some of our donations back since COVID and many base and middle management had to take salary cuts. The executive HR manager found out and had a fit. In a regional meeting Monday, he brought up how unfair it was to treat men differently. Here is where I, F, may be an asshole replied, please don't make this a gender thing. You clearly overspent on your wedding. C didn't plan for two babies during a pandemic. Hell, she didn't plan for one especially with the pay cuts. You also, make more than everyone in this room, so you could donate to us. Just saying. Well he got upset and said I would be receiving a corrective. I reminded him that he is HR and bipartisan employee and to participate in such activities is unethical in front of everyone. Iter, half of the team thinks I am right for shutting his ungrateful ass up but the other half feel I should have just kept quiet and to stop starting. Company structure, there are 40 years, entry, no pay cut taken, $30,000. $40,000 base management, 15% pay cut taken, $50,000, $70,000 middle management, 25% pay cut taken, $75,000, $90,000 executive management, no pay cut taken, $150,000, $300,000. Edit, so many comments and thank you all. I get why some say yes H and that is cool. To explain, 
he did not ask us himself. He complained to his department and they solicited the request. He did not know she was pregnant until 20 weeks because she has pcos and irregular periods are normal. She also did not ask us for anything. Someone overheard her crying and thought we could help. I have scheduled with the CEO with a meeting recording for Friday. Also, our new CEO is pretty awesome, he came after the pay cuts and is working to change that. Edit 2. We have a pay schedule. This is based upon job title and years worked. This was to create transparency to prevent racial and gender pay inequality within job duties. Bonuses are up in the air. C did not tell anyone at work about her getting drunk and unprotected sex. She alluded to me because we have the same medical issue that causes fertility issues. So I asked her how she did it as one's COVID is up, I wanted to start trying myself. She straight faced me and said, got drunk, was stupid and now pregnant. I just shared that information with you all here. And the person that said I watch too much office. I have never seen an episode but if it is a good show please point me to the season and episode number so I can watch it. Thank you. Edit 3. Lastly, in 2018 we got a more liberal CEO who wanted to create a be-yourself community environment. Sounds great but not without rules. To open the floodgates for them to do whatever in executive management without fear of repercussions. Prior to last year, cash slash gift giving was forbidden no matter the reason. We could only donate our sick time and or PTO time to employees with serious medical issues. Myself and C work in separate departments so we don't see or interact with each other much. We just share resources since we have the same medical condition. Again, C did not expect nor ask anyone for anything, she did not feel entitled, someone asked us and because of the amount asked I got irritated and decided to donate more. I started the fire not see. My comment to the him stemmed from the pay cut we took and the fact that he felt entitled to any of our money and tried to use gender as an excuse. NTA. Having a dick and being a dick are two very separate things. Gender doesn't come into this at all. OP, you are awesome for helping out those twins and their parents. That is doing real good in this shit world. NTA. Why would he plan such an expensive wedding and honeymoon if he couldn't afford it? That's his own problem lol what a jackass. He could afford it, he just didn't want to pay as much for it. I'm a manager and would never expect nor accept cash donations from any of my employees. It's wildly inappropriate. Doctors I've worked with have had babies, all the staff have pooled their money together to buy them a gift. Each person put in whatever they wanted slash could afford. The industry I work in has a significant disparity in doctor versus auxiliary pay. Other doctors might put in a $100 while the receptionist puts in $5. That's totally fair. If someone at work marries, you give them a gift if you're invited to the wedding. Otherwise, a congratulations is all that's required. Most of the doctors I've worked with have politely insisted that staff refrain from giving gifts even if invited to the wedding due to income disparity. We did multiple fundraisers for a staff member when her husband was terminally ill. She took time off work to care for him and had no income at this time. He was not in a financial position to do this, but needed to be with her husband. Our doctors donated heavily to our efforts and others gave what they could. She appreciated everyone equally. It's completely inappropriate for someone who makes 10x the salary of their employees to expect monetary donations for anything much less something like a honeymoon that's entirely elective. Let's not forget that executive management took no pay cut. They're making that much and didn't have to sacrifice anything? Nah. I'd have no loyalty to a company that only expects sacrifices from its lower and middle classes. Ita for refusing attend any celebrations in my family because of something happened when I was a teenager. This has been happening for a while but I saw a post about birthday and I figured I would ask here. My elder sister has terrible depression while growing up. We were polar opposites. She was very introverted and struggling while I was an extrovert and had ton of friends and had it easy in high school. After a bad spiral, my sister broke down and cried to my mom about how easy I had it and that she loathed herself more because of me. My parents were very worried that she was going to do something drastic and their solution was to have me stop hanging out with my friends. Outside school, I wasn't allowed to hang out with my friends. I would text slash call them, but I couldn't 
meet them. My elder sister loved this and she kept saying how me not rubbing her face in the fact I am better than her is helping her mental health immensely. So, during the ages of 14 to 18, I wasn't allowed to have friends outside school. During my birthdays, my mom used to not celebrate because she felt me having too much fun would affect my sister. She will make me skip school on my birthday so that I won't have a secret celebration and anything that's a gift is strictly forbidden. Obviously, I broke the stupid rule and had ton of friends, many of whom I am still in contact with. During that time, I began to hate my mother and my sister. My dad tried to cheer me up but he never said anything in my defense. I stopped celebrating anything with them, birthdays, Mother's Day, Father's Day etc. Whenever they asked me about it or accused me of not bothering, I would just say that I didn't get anything for them because I didn't want to upset my elder sister. I got a full ride to college and didn't speak to any of them after that. Five years later, my dad fell sick and I responded when they reached out. I started speaking to my mom and dad again. I refused to talk to my elder sister. She is still miserable and bitter and very very alone and I would like to be as far away from her as possible. I have still not celebrated anything with them. Few months ago, my parents had their anniversary and I didn't wish them or get them a gift. They asked me if I wanted to come for a small dinner with close friends and family and I just replied I don't want to upset anyone by celebrating something. My mom was pissed as hell. She told me that I either need to forgive them or just go no contact again. She said that there is no point in me saying that I am willing to forgive them and then making snide remarks or throwing some things back in their face. I listened to her and then decided to go no contact again. My parents aren't respecting my decision and are accusing me of being stuck in the past. This all happened few months ago and I am merely curious to what Reddit thinks.